Okay, just to, uh, this is a quick video to look at exporting multiple regions out of Logic as audio files without having to individually um, bounce them by using the export um, audio regions command. So um, here I've got a whole load of uh, voiceover clips and they need to be cut up into separate files and exported out as individual audio files. So this is just um, a voiceover doing some uh, numerical numbers for a phone system. Here we go. And zero cents, and one cent, and two cents, and three cents. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is to cut these up into individual files so they're neatly top top and tail. So we could go through with the uh, with the uh, marquee tool and start cutting them up and then we can come in and top and tail them, etc, etc. Or a quicker way is to use strip silence. Um, now to, to find strip silence you can control click the region or right click it and then you'll find it under split and then there it is strip silence or control X is the key command and once you've used it it will appear up at the top of your menu. So go strip silence. Now it's very difficult to see what's going on when I've got so many selected because there are some variables here that we can play with which is really important. So I'm just going to select just say two, come back to strip silence. So now you can actually see what's going on. So here's the silence, little dotted bit, and here's the actual wave that we're going to keep. And by changing the threshold and et cetera, et cetera, um, you, can, you, can, you can change what is, what is identified as silence and uh, what is actual material that you want to keep. And then there's minimum time to accept to silence, pre-attack time, post-release time, and you can get Logic to search for the zero crossing. So these are the settings that I've found work well for this voiceover recorded at the level it was recorded. Um, so I'm just using these, and then I've deselected search zero crossing because otherwise Logic will m adjust the uh, front and end point to find the zero crossing point, which can um, be problematic in this situation. Uh, it may work for you. Anyway, so once you've done that and you've got all your regions edited, it's just worth putting a little fade in over here and a fade out. Just select them all and you have to do it once. Fade in, fade out, maybe four or five milliseconds just to avoid any audio clicks. Anyway, so once you've found some settings that work for your material, then just OK it and it will cut them up perfectly. And zero cents. And one cent. So um, once you've got the settings that work, you obviously select the entire region that you want to um, cut up. And we go to strip silence again. OK that. And so all of these have been done. Now, there are some mistakes and there are some breaths which occasionally Logic will interpret as material. You can you can see one there. So we can just get rid of that and you just need to go through. Um, you can see here there's some... And, and seven... OK, so a couple of mistakes and a breath. So you go through and do some editing on all that, clean it up. And then let's just work with these top eight here. Once you've got your regions all edited, then as I said, just put in a little fade in, fade out. Make sure your regions are selected and then go to File, come down to Export. And there you'll see second line on these options is eight regions as audio files. So export eight regions as eight regions as audio files. So let's go for that. And then you get this dialog. So you can decide where to put it. So let's put it in a new folder. Call that export. And then we can change the uh, format of the way of the audio file. So the options here are AIFF, uh, WAVE and CAF. There's no MP3 option here. Uh, you can change the bit depth. Um, we're not working with a with a, an instrument here. So you can also choose to bypass your effect plugin. As you can see, I've got some compression and EQ. I want to keep those in. If you were working with reverb, then you could in, you could opt to include the audio tail of the reverb, which would go beyond the actual endpoint of your region, if you see what I mean. And you can opt here to include the volume and pan automation. Now I'm going to include that, and I'm going to keep normalization off. And then finally, you can um, select some options here for how the file name is going to be made up. So at the moment, let's just put it back to um, increment. So here are the options, custom, project name, etc. And you just drag them into this box. 
So I'm just going to use increment, and the file name example at the bottom here says 01.wav. So if you wanted to add a custom name on the front of that, you could drag that in, like custom there. And then here in the custom box, you could write your, um, let's call it, uh, I don't know, audio space. And then now each file will be called, will be named rather, audio, and then the number 01, which will increment each time, dot wav. So you'll get audio 01, 2, 3, 4, etc. Then all you need to do is hit export, and you can see it goes through. And then that's done. All your files have been exported. Let's come find them. Go in here. There you go. Audio one, two, three. So listen. And zero cents. And seven cents. Also, if you're for this kind of uh, voice uh, material, if you're looking to convert these to one of the um, telephony type um, WAV files like ULAW or ALAW, um, the eight bit. 8 kilohertz type file, then there's another video on how to convert those in a free program called Audacity, and that video is on my channel. Anyway, there you go. Cheers for now.